Hey kids, welcome to a unit three lesson seven polymorphism exercise number one. We have a what do you think this program does? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the code. In my console, we're instantiating some objects here my shape of the shape class, my rectangle of the rectangle class, my circle of the circle class. Passing some parameters, then we're creating an array called shape list it is of the shape class it says my shape my rectangle my circle and then it looks like we have an enhanced for loop we're creating a variable the shape to look through the shape list and printing off the area of the shape which is my variable and enhanced for loop well, let's look through these subclasses under shape we have one private variable with. We have one constructor, it's taking with as a parameter. We have our get method, get with, set method to set with. And then we have calculate size, which is a width times width. Under rectangle, we have a private instant variable height. We have our constructor has two parameters. It is supering width from the shape class, also adding height. We have our get method for height our set method for height and our calculate area which returns a get width times height hmm i think i saw that over here as well it is it's the same method name i wonder if this is anything like two string when we overrode method names circle we just have one constructor it's width and we have our calculate area again. In this one, its radius is get width divided by two, and then it's returning pi times the radius times the radius. Let's go back to my console. This calculate area returns the area. The shape is the variable looking through the shapes list. Shapes list is my shape, my rectangle, my circle. My shape is four, and it took one parameter, which was width. Then my rectangle took two, three, and six, and my circle took one. What I think this is going to do is override that calculate area, is we're going to get the calculate area for each of the objects. My shape will be four times four, rectangle will be three times six, and the circle will be pi times three times three. We'll have to get a calculator out for that one, kids. I think what's going to happen here is a lot like what happened to two strings. We're going to override the method and we're going to get different results for each one, even though it is the same method. Let's go ahead and print and see if we're right. Looks like we're right, kids. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is this idea of polymorphism which means of one is many. A good example of this is who you are. You are a person. You're either a son or daughter of your parents. You might have a job. You're the same person, but you possess different behaviors in different situations. That's what overriding is. And that's really the idea of polymorphism and encapsulation. Out of one, there is many. Out of one method, you can get many results. Another classic example of this is a make sound. Let's say we have a method make sound. Instead of doing make sound cow, make sound cat, we can just do a general make sound that we can share through all of the classes. When I call the cow make sound, I get a moo. When I call a cat make sound, I get a meow. Again, kids, this is a lot like the two string. We're just overriding a method. And we're calling it now polymorphism. Hopefully, kids, this video helps you understand what polymorphism is and how we use it in Java. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.